hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will add the missions functionality okay as you know that in this game we just only have four missions but if you want you can extend these missions okay and add your own missions but i will tell you how you can add these four missions and once you learn that you will be able to add your own missions okay and how many you want so for adding the missions first of all right here inside the scripts folder let's go ahead and create a new folder by the name of missions okay then inside this missions folder let's create a c sharp script by the name of missions and once you created the script and right here in the hierarchy we create an empty game object by the name of missions and simply attach the script to it okay like this then let's open this script up in Visual Studio Code. And right here, let me just remove these other scripts. Just leave the boss script right there. Then remove the start and update function. And at the top, you will see using Unity Engine.UI because on this script, we will be dealing with the UI. So that's why we need that at the top. Then after that, we will create a public bool by the name of mission one and by default this will be equals to false then we will create another bool by the name of mission two and this will be equals to false then public bool mission three equals to false then actually let me just copy that paste it two times and change this to mission 4 and mission 5 or actually we have four missions so just leave it till the mission 4 then for now you know that we don't have any ui to show to the player that this is your mission that for example locate your house and save game we don't have that ui so for now we will not be focusing up on that okay so just create a update function and inside this update function just say that if mission one is equals to false okay then and mission two is equals to false then and and let me just copy this from here to this false paste it right here okay then this will be for mission 2 mission 3 and mission 4 okay then let's change the name of it and accordingly so 3 and 4 let me remove this one so 1 2 3 4 okay now it means that if the player doesn't complete any of the mission then in the ui we will show the mission text that for example our first mission was to locate your house and save game so we will show this text to the user on the ui but for now we don't have the ui so we will just leave a comment and just for testing purposes we will say debug.log and in the console we will show this text which will be locate your house and save game okay then in the same way let's copy this paste it down below three times so one two three okay then in this second one we will say that if mission one is completed and the two three four is not completed then it means that mission two is remaining and as you know from the intro video the mission two was to meet frank in the police station so we will show this text in the console okay then in the third one we will say that if mission 1 is completed and then also mission 2 is being completed then our third mission will be simply find weapons at home okay then we will say that if mission 1 2 and 3 is completed and mission 4 is remaining then we will change this text to find Gonzalez and take revenge okay and when this mission is done then now let's just copy this and paste it down below 
and set the mission 4 to true so if all of the missions are completed then in the console for now we will say all missions completed successfully and that will be it okay so now we have the missions logic right here okay now we need to just pass these missions one by one for example the first one is locate your house and save game so whenever we save the game we want to complete the first mission and then the next one is meet frank in the police station so whenever we go to the jail section in the police station we will pass this mission too okay so in the next video we will pass all of these missions okay one by one so now with our missions logic completed see you guys in the next one